Candy homesteading. I'm just going to do an update. Um, it might be a little longer than normal, but um, I have a lot to say. A lot has happened. Um, just basic update on Axel. He's doing just fine. Um, I got new cages offline. I got 15 of these cages, and it was only like 50 bucks. The guy loaded in my card for me, and it was great. Um, see how this one has a four connector? That, that cage is empty. Um, but I got 15 of them. They're just stacked over there. There's two two to each one um, so it kind of works out it's nice in case I have extras or my friend needs extra cages I actually sold her two of my cages and I get a doe from her she's a um, Flemish giant doe from her I get her this weekend um here is lucky he's just chilling making a dirty mess I just cleaned out this cage yesterday and for some reason he likes to poop everywhere um, he's on a water bottle. He is on bowl. Just because that's kind of how it worked out. And this is my cute little man. I don't know which of his cages. This is Honey Nut. He is uh, my junior buck. These two are my senior bucks. Um, his sister is over here. She's actually really small compared to him. I don't know why she's so small. But I mean, and we also handle them exactly the same. And she's way more skittish than he is, so I don't know what her problem is. But, I mean, she's friendly. She's just not as friendly. Here is Gretchen, my cross of Rex and who knows what. She is due in about, I think it's like four days. I'll have to look it up. But she's just chillaxing. Um, I have fresh um, veggies in there. There's lettuce and cucumbers and stuff. I looked it up. They can eat them. Um, and then here, fan. Everybody gets a fan. Well, they share. Those two share. And then he is just kind of chill. I mean, he doesn't... Every time I put the fan on him, he's freaks out about the fan being on his cage. Here is Pissy. See? Some of the veggies. She is Speckle's mom. And we actually ended up losing Speckle this last weekend. There's a whole story that goes into that. I'll get into that in a bit in the house. She's due a week after her. And she's actually a breed. I looked it up. I actually found out what she is, which is pretty nice. And she also likes to use her birthing box that I got. I actually got this from the dollar store. So that's going to be all. What are you doing in here? I got this from the dollar store. Um, the birthing boxes at the stores near me are around $30 per breeding box. Which I think is a little bit of expensive because, I mean, if you don't breed that often, I mean, is it really worth it? My other doe had one like this. Again, it was like... A dollar and she was perfectly fine didn't hurt her the kits were fine um, she is my obsessive eater so I keep all her food very very full because every time you open the cage she thinks that you're killing her so I just kind of put all her food in there she can eat as much as she wants and this is Cheerio this is the sister to Honey Nut which is my buck over there she is my junior doe she's super soft she is a Rex Californian Cross I go along with her brother um, and I moved these two closer just because I mean get socialization done and it's just having them easier like all together instead of spread out this was her cage and then I moved over here because I'm slowly cleaning out each one because during the day I'm at work this one and this one they're just like the sheets that go in your house when you're doing your flooring like the tiles and then I just take them out and clean them like once a week because I like to just poop on them anyway. And then that cage is empty. And But she gets a nice big fan. Oh, well, the horses are getting quite interested over here. Um, but I'm going to go inside and we're going to do a little update and explain what happened and why I don't have um, Daisy and Speckle or a baby anymore. And here's my very nosy horse, Snickers, who thinks that I'm giving the bunnies goodies and she doesn't get any. Even though she just got a whole bunch of goodies last night. So. Okay, now that we're back in the house. I can do a little update in here. My dad forgot to turn on one of the lamps. So here's my baby bunnies. This is Daisy's litter. Um, we ended up losing Daisy and one of the white ones and Speckle. She was the white and butterscotchy colored dough. Um, she ended up eating some stuff that we got from a lady... And it turns out they cannot eat it, even though 
the other lady gets to her wrapped and she says they love it and it's great to you know make it feel better give them extra vitamins it actually ended up um killing some of my rabbits so these babies get hand fed every six hours um it says online to feed them like the cat one I only have the dog one in the store near me. I'll show you what it is in a bit. Um, so, I mean, but they're obviously doing fine. They've been on it for about four days. And they're healthy. They're active. Running around making a mess of their cage. Isn't it great? But they get the big, big cage for now. Um, and then they'll eventually get moved out. Because I did lose their mother, I'm thinking about keeping this one right here. It's the lightest one. Um, and this one. It's the only one who got a little bit of daddy's color. See, there's like a dip. And the tip, and then I have very nosy. Very nosy, nosy, happy babies. Oh, okay. We're not climbing out. Um, I actually got this cage for 20 bucks. My mom did, actually, from a barter fair. But it didn't have a bottom. Like, there's no bottom. You can't, that's just my wall. And so we put a, a dog pan thing that goes in a kennel underneath it. And then we actually got this. We left the stickers on it. As a pea guard, and especially a guard for babies, um, it's actually edging. See, it like goes along your garden. It was like three dollars, and they don't chew it. We just zip tied it on. The big bunnies left it alone, and so now we just use it as you know. It's actually all around the whole cage, as a pea guard and a guard for the babies, and it keeps them in. It was a cheap alternative. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of thrown together, but you know what? It looks okay. It's not super intense, and it keeps my babies. Um, healthy and alive at the moment. You know, it's not hurting them to have it in there. Hello, little bunnies. Oh, I just love little bunnies. Aren't they so cute? Oh, oh okay. Oh, careful. Careful. Yeah, they think that I'm going to feed them because I opened the cage door of food. See, aren't they so cute? Um, hello. Oh, oh, no, no. We're not climbing up. My mom thinks that we need to keep all of the little bunnies, but sadly, we cannot. Um, we might be keeping those two that I pointed out just because, again, I lost their mom, and so I generally want to keep their their uh, bloodlines here. I mean, she was a really good doe. It sucks that I lost her. Um, she was a great mom. And so, hopefully, this one, or the one I, um, I showed you with the dark tips on its ears, it's one of the white ones, um, is a doe. Or if neither one is a doe, there's one darker gray one. It's a very large dark gray one. I think it's that one right here by my finger. Um, I might keep that one. So, But the other ones will hopefully have some homes. Um, I have a couple of people who are very interested. I think there's a lady taking two of my bunnies as pets. My dad's friend wants two bunnies for his daughters. Um, and then the black one, my one black one that's right there. Uh, my brother's friend is taking her. Um, and then there's Miss Bunny. It, like I said, there's horrible lighting in here. Sorry. Uh, this is Miss Bunny. She's still doing good. Um, we, I got her this like stick. It's horrible lighting in here. I'm so sorry. Here, let me try this. Aha! Light to the world. Sorry, Miss Bunny. I know you were liking it. It's dark and cold in the house. Because uh, it's really, really hot outside. This, you know, some of this. She, again, my bunnies like to just poop and everything. We just cleaned this bunny out cage out yesterday. Um, but we actually got these from the dollar store. They're cat toys. She doesn't chew on it. She just kind of pushes it around her cage. If she chew on it, obviously I take it out. Because it's just plastic. But she loves playing with it. Um, this one came with the cage. It's just wood blocks. Again, loves chewing on it. And then there's this thing. I guess it has vitamins in it. She loves to just chew it. It sits on the outside of her cage with the little bolts and just kind of sits there. She likes to play with it. She's pretty chill. See? She just pushes her in her cage. Um, she is my mom's bunny. Miss Bunny, that's all she calls her. Um, she eventually will go and be a mama, but she'll probably stay in the house. Cause my mom, see, she just plays with her toy. Um, my mom wants to stay in the house and she'll get potty trained. And then we have the quail. Um, we learned that there is two boys in here, not one boy. Hello, quail. And so hopefully, um, the lady I got them from, she was super, super, super nice. Um, I just have to find her information because I'm actually going to end up getting 
about five more females. Um, we used the eggs for my dad who had a brain injury. Um, and so now we just use them for eggs. We were going to use them for meat. and uh, But it ended up being better for my dad's brain to have quail eggs. I guess they're really nutritious and good for you. And so they saved their own lives. Um, that's about it for the bunny update. And my, the dog steps still. He loves to watch the baby bunnies. My dogs are super friendly, especially with the baby animals. They probably are too afraid of their lives to hurt them. But, uh, yep, that's about it. And thanks for the update. Thanks for listening to my update, I should say.